And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some random champion casual Friday. It's been a couple of weeks since we have done this with the new patch coming out and us wanting to try the new cards and stuff. We've taken our uh, put our random champions on the back burner for a little bit, but it's back. It's random champion casual Friday. So the uh, the premise of today's stream is to uh, play four decks that are going to be uh, pairings of two random champions. We have the Wheel of Champions that will decide who we're going to play. Um, each one of these little uh, spokes on the wheel is, represents a champion. I wish it had the champion name on there, but I guess there's too many, so it doesn't actually have the name there. But it'll, once we spin, you'll see. And then we're going to build the decks around them and play them and it's always a lot of fun i i really like doing these random champion days because you get to see a bunch of interactions that you don't normally get to see so let's without further ado let's get to it a uh, little warning if you're somebody who is bothered by bright lights you may want to look away uh the wheel's a little bright for some people okay let's spin it though let's see who our first champion is going to be Talia. Okay. All right. We're building a Talia deck. And so who is going to be paired with Talia? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see who we got. Elise. Wow. All right. Talia Elise. That is not going to be an easy one. Not going to lie. <laughs> well, that's what Random Champion Day is about. It's, it's a challenge. And that's this first video. Talia Elise. Wow. All right, who do we got next? We got Sejuani. And Sejuani is going to be paired with somebody. Let's see who. Kindred. Okay, so we're going to have... Uh, we'll, we'll go with Kindred first. So Kindred, Sejuani, and Talia Elise. Ooh, all right. Um, I, think, I think we can do Kindred, Sejuani. That, yeah, we could do that. So, you know, like we're going to be frostbiting. Oh, speaking of frostbiting, looks like we're going to have Ash for our next deck. But yeah, you know, like Kindred marks the weakest enemy. And so if we frostbite something and then we kill something else and we mark the weakest enemy, that could be kind of nice. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So uh, we got Ash, which I've wanted to play an Ash deck recently. So it looks like we're going to have two different frostbite decks. Ash Victor. <clears throat> okay. Um, I guess three sisters can be a creative card for Victor. All right, Ash Victor. And our fourth pairing. Who we got? Who we got? Braum. All right, I love playing Braum. So we've got a lot of Freljord here. Sejuani, Ash, and Braum. All right, who's Braum going to be paired with? Somebody cool? Tarek. Oh, Braum Tarek. Two of my favorite champions. Tarek Braum. Braum Tarek. Probably Tarek Braum. Okay. So there we go. That Those are going to be our champion pairings. Should be a lot of fun. Now time for us to build them here on stream. Probably usually takes around an hour to build these decks. Not going to lie. You know, like 15 minutes. Uh, or 20, 15, 20 minutes per deck takes a little, little bit, but uh, you can think about it. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, think about like what do you think the decks are going to look like, um, and then you can kind of you know check back and see if you are right or if, if we build them like you would. And if not, of course, you can leave comments about it and let us know if you if you would go a different direction. All right, but that's going to be uh, it for this part. So stick around. We're going to uh, build them, and we'll be right back with Talia Elise. And we're back for Random Champion Casual Friday with Talia Elise as our first deck out of the four. As y'all know, you saw, you saw us uh, spin the wheel of champions for the random decks. Um, different ways we could go about this. Um, I, at first, was thinking, you know, build a control deck around Catalog of Regrets and have Talia copy Catalog of Regrets. But it turns out that we actually have that as a donation deck for a meme tier deck that we are going to be playing on Monday. So I was like, well, we don't, probably don't need to play it again right now. So uh, let's you know find a different route. And instead, we're going to go with this landmark that I have never played, the Twisted Tree Line. 
And this is once I've seen three fearsome allies attack, destroy me to summon a vile maw. Um, never played this card before, but this is going to be like the la landmark that we're going to have in here, making it a fearsome deck and have Talia be able to copy the twisted tree line and be able to get multiple vile maws. Um, so that that's kind of like what, what our goal is here. Now we're going to make it like an all out fearsome deck since we're playing Shirima. Also going to be playing Raz Bloodmane. Awesome top end card for the fearsome decks. And besides that, we're gonna want like three fearsome attackers. So we're at like these early one drops that have fearsome, um, the Sentinel, the Reaper, you know, Arachnoid Horror, Elise, of course, um, Buru Sentinel, uh, Merciless Hunter, other fearsome things in here. We played a couple Merciless Hunters. I'm not sure if it should be Frenzied Skitter instead of Merciless Hunter. I don't know. Frenzied Skitter is a spider. I don't know. We're, we're just going with Merciless Hunter, but we'll kind of see if, like, the Frenzy Skitter would look better than that card. Um, but we need, we're also playing, like, some different um, spells to slay, because we need spells to slay for our Sentinels, be able to buff those things up. But yeah, so you can kind of see what we got going on here. We just got Fearsome, some removal, uh, and this Twisted Tree Line. So Talia's probably not going to be leveling up too much. Only have Twisted Tree Line and Preservarium as our only landmarks. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be tough to level up, but you never know. It could happen. So let's give it a try. Talia, Elise, we're just going to be playing on over in normal with these random champion decks because, you know, they can be a little wonky. We want to have, you know, maybe in normal we can kind of showcase the deck a little bit better. Maybe we don't get ran over quite as fast. Um, you know, we'll kind of see, but I say that and Riven Lee Sin is a deck that's famous for running you over very fast. So I like... This start with Horror, Sentinel, Vile Feast. I like the Vile Feast for this matchup because with Riven, they're probably playing the... Whoops. With Riven, they're probably playing the 2-mana 3-1 and the, you know, the, the, the Reforges. And that 3-1 blocks my fearsome things, but you know we can use a Vile Feast and take it out. Let's go, Ragnoid Horror. All right, cool. Blade Squad. That thing does not block here, so. So happy about that. Heart and blade both broken. Universal's Hunter looks pretty good here. Looks better than Frenzy Skater would be, giving that vulnerable. That's pretty nice. Maybe just open attack. Wrap him up tight. Yeah, that was that was nifty. Cause then we can play tree line and then Talia tree line and then I don't know, another fearsome thing. Definitely trying hard to make this tree line work. All right, so they have all three blades in hand. Come on, so much to see. Yeah, it destroys itself once it's used. Even a fragment snuffs out lives. this was like just like summon it attacking or something like we're gonna attack with three fearsomes That's right. Run! and then we get the two six sixes but right, 
Just doing this to put the put the ribbon down to one health in case we find another one damage thing. But it's like we have to wait till the next round before we can even attack, or you know, next attack round before we can even attack with the six sixes. <clears throat> All right, so that's pretty bad for me. Wow, they created the overwhelm blade fragment this time, the one the best possible hit. Oh yeah, obviously that's game. GG found it. They got us. Piercing Darkness low speed didn't look good. You know, like that needed to be like Vengeance at fast speed. We did get to do double tree lines. We got to do that. That's a hand of mulligan. So even though we lost, we did get to do, we get, like, I don't know if anybody else has ever had like double tree line <laughs> activated in like a real game. Let's get to it. Man, they are going crazy. That's a dream hand right there. Sends her blessing. So I can kill the Powder Monkey with a Vile Feast, but it still deals Nexus damage. Yeah, that doesn't really help me that much. I think, yeah, actually, let's just skip block. Okay. There's nothing to fear. We're gonna play Elise, and my plan is like next round, be able to Vile Feast the Monkey Idol. And kill it. I move forward. So I could have hold up mana for piercing darkness though. They play like gangplank. But I kinda wanna do this, because I don't want them to have that monkey that powder monkey next round anyway, and I want to grow this sentinel to be a 5-4 before damage. Oh and we grow the Reaper too. I stole my Preservarium. They're nabbing all my cards. I never disclose my sources. I hope they're nabbing a bunch of twisted tree lines. Okay, not a good card to draw. We love it when they run. Want a piercing darkness this 3-3? You are a child. What do you Let's play this thing first. I know if I'm quick enough in a fight, I'll never There's a good chance they play something else before attacking. I've whipped up something special. Uh oh. I hope that's not make it rain. Or at least maybe they hit the Elise. Ah, it's a Vile Feast. Okay. But I may not have three Fearsome units now if they kill Elise. They do not kill Elise. They're going to let me just attack with the tree line. Okay, unfortunately, I don't have the room. Oh, man. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. I don't have the room to copy that with Holly anyway. Come on, Raz. Thank you. 
Oh, Raz. Can't block any of these. Oh, my tree line just went away completely, didn't it? My 6-6, six -six, I just noticed that. Just realized that. Okay, this, this twisted tree line's not really helping. <laughs> That's game. Yeah, they didn't have like the removal there and all that, all that fearsome. Couldn't handle it. Now we feast. I kind of want to keep the vengeance though. Actually, I kind of want to just keep all this. Because I feel like... Oh, they're going to be... Alright, so they're going to be Howling Abyss deck. I was going to say, like, I feel like they're going to be really reliant on action. And so, like, we want to have Despair, Vengeance... You know, like, we want to have things to kill it. I guess we'll send Vengeance back. I am talking about, like, keeping a 7-mana removal spell in my opener for a 2-mana champion. We could probably send it back. But yeah, this looks like an all-in action deck. No removal for me. Nothing escapes my watch. Landmark removal, that is. No landmark removal for me. Light is a lure in the dark. I don't need to give any of these things vulnerable. By her will. Yeah, I think this should be once I've seen three fearsome allies attack, destroy me to summon a vile maw attacking. So young. Like you already have to like this is a difficult landmark to to work. I think that vile maw should just be attacking. I don't know why this isn't challenging the spider. I go, I go. I really wanted to pass round there, but I also wanted to be able to play this twisted tree line and this hunter before attacking the next round, and gonna do everything there. You know, if I if we were gonna have six mana this round, I would have definitely passed because I would have liked that one one to challenge the rock hopper right now. Wow, they just surrendered. Yes, yeah, so they couldn't find action. And... Okay. Leaving so soon, the little ones will miss you. How about that? That one didn't feel a little too much like a win, but um, yeah, like their deck was really reliant on action and and Howling Abyss, and I guess they didn't have either. They just wanted to go on to the next game. All right, don't think we want to keep Preservarium against the Puff Cap deck. So we'll send we'll send back five mana card, seven mana card, Preservarium. Cool, gets more like ones and twos. Death doing more cheap fearsomes. Elise is the better card, of course. Oh, I was kind of thinking they'd have like uh, a three mana deal three. Uh, whatever its name is. Right here. Like a thermo beam. I thought they'd have maybe have like a thermo beam right there. I didn't want to play Elise then because then like Puff Cat Peddler. I didn't want to like you know play Elise, they play Puff Cat Peddler, then I don't have very good attacks. Ooh, no peddler, that's great. 
No peddler is free. Caught on the trails. Unfortunately, this will strike my nexus, so it'll still create the flash bomb traps. But that's just how it is. It's gonna create the flash bomb traps either way. I just want to get it out of here. One mana short of Hunter, Elise, and having these things available. Let's start with Vile Feast. And then I can either go Merciless Hunter or Elise plus have Glimpse Beyond available. Hopefully make that trade. Okay, at least Merciless Hunter traded with multiple cards. Got an ambush out of their hand. So we have a lot more cards, but they have some of their best. Nagakabura sends her blessing. I do love Trinket Trade with Puffcat Peddler. That's so nice. So that that's going to level up their Teemo, right? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, one of those is six, and then they play another spell, and then it's another six. Caps. I don't know, it's not worth it though. Alright, gonna go and do the draw two right now. I wanna turn this thing into a 5 4. And maybe we draw some puff caps that don't get doubled. Okay, so right now they, they won't be able to block anything, depending on what they drew. If they just drew, like, another, you know, like, Peddler or 2-2 two -two or something, like, this could be lethal. Unless they drew removal. Enough that, yeah, so they didn't draw removal, so. Blood Mane, fearsome, getting it done. Raz is pretty good. Alright, Lux Karma. Karma Lux. See if we get some fearsome going. I like the Preservarium. Um, the Sentinels aren't bad either. I kind of like this hand. Maybe we just keep. Let's just keep one Sentinel though. We don't necessarily need two. Or you know what? On second thought, we'll keep two. There's nothing we'll keep two. to fear. I'm thinking they're going to play Remembrance. I hope not. I wouldn't necessarily mind Eye of the Dragons, but I don't want Remembrance, because Remembrance is just something really big. So, unfortunately, they got Remembrance. Okay. Light is a lure in the dark. Get a Raz Rally deck. Raz Blood Main Rally deck. That could be cool. Move or cease. All right, so slaying our own 1-1s, one -one so that then we make this Sentinel a 5-4. I like that we drew that that second Vile Feast in case of Nopify. And it did have Nopify, so I'm glad we have a second Vile Feast. A tribute to the Spider God. The more we learn, the less. 
less we fear. They grow up so fast. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. All right, so we're not leveling up. Uh, not leveling up. Elise, but like I, I could challenge with like the four two to try to level up, but of course, yeah, they have like mega like, researcher anyway. So young. Get a good amount of damage in, get them down to eight, but of course, this is scary with them having a Lux. They have like remembrance now. It like also take you know gives them a final spark. All right, good. Not getting a final spark. Nagakabura sends her blessing. This place reeks of foul magic. Rude. So I want to play Raz Bloodmane, obviously. The problem with playing Raz is, you know, they have removal for Raz, right? Like Concussive Palm, for example. Because we could just open attack right now, and we have a pretty decent open attack right now. But not, like, amazing, but pretty decent. Eh, it's actually really not that great. Okay. Raz it is. Because if they don't have removal for Raz, this is just game winning. I guess they would at the very least be able to display four Demacia. Wow, they did not use removal for Raz? I don't care about a spiderling. I guess I could add I guess I could have challenged Lux, but yeah. Wow, why why did they not just play the Fort Demacia? So yeah, Fort Demacia is what they needed to do. Alright, Raz Bloodmain MVP. Won three of those four. You know, four one. Um, but of course it was a normal, not ranked, and we could kind of see that with some of the plays from our opponents in those games. Three of the four games we did win. By the, thanks to Raz Bloodmane with that minus two, minus zero. Uh, that was awesome. And the other one, uh, we had a really early concession from an opponent. Uh, that, that happens sometimes whenever you play in normal. So um, this is one of those times like where you, know, you kind of have to watch the games. Also, besides just looking at the record, yes, we went 4-1. Um, but I don't think our... We didn't play against the best opponents. Um, I think we maybe played against some like newer opponents in that. That uh, we're, you know, they could, my opponents could have put themselves in better positions to win, but we'll take it. You know, like we, uh, I think we sh show, did show that like fearsome's a pretty good keyword. I think that was kind of the takeaway here is that fearsome was a good keyword, made blocking really difficult for the opponent, and Raz Bloodmane with just like an all fearsome deck with that attack ability was awesome. And that was just a great way to finish out games. And that's what, that's what we can really take away from this deck. Um, the best version of this deck is not going to be playing Twisted Tree Line and Talia, you know. Uh, if, if you're trying to, like, make this, you know, you want to play competitive Elise, uh, all these Fearsomes, Rad Blood, Raz Bloodmain deck, I think you can. I think you just don't need Tree Line, Talia. You know, you can play, uh, I don't know, Callista or Viego. I don't know. You know, Viego over Talia, you know, that's that's a good Fearsome champion, I think. And, you know, you can do, you can do stuff like that, but... Um, we'll take the wins. You know, it's random champion casual Friday. Not always easy to win the games. And we got some wins, so we'll take it. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the random champion day. Let me know how you like these builds also. And if you would have built an Elise Talia deck differently um, or like any of these other uh, videos that we're going to be posting this weekend, um, you know, let me know if you would have uh, built them differently. Uh, also, love seeing those comments. But that's going to be it for the first Random Champion deck. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.